Now, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to be CSGO's most recent update keeps getting a whole lot worse. Now, the first content update of 2023 has officially been out now for a little over a week, with a banging new music kit, unique designs in the espionage ticker capsule, and of course, the brand new Revolution case. And while that itself is a complete utter mess, and some may say even disaster, from stolen skins to impossible to get floats on some of the new skins that had to be replaced from the stolen ones in the first place, it's very confusing, it's very complicated, and well, that's what I want to take a look at in today's video. I'll be discussing and stating some of the very obvious, pretty much on how none of this should have happened in the first place, and with Valve either making a contraband skin, replacing or removing these skin entirely, pretty much enables people to commit fraud when submitting CSGO skins. And while if something doesn't get done anytime soon, it's going to continue to get worse. And we'll also touch on the M4A4 Tamuka. Now today's video sponsor is of course, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is currently the easiest and also fastest way you can buy, but most importantly, trade your CSGO skins. All you have to do is make sure you have your trade link, and on your first trade, if you have a leftover balance, it goes towards your current balance that can be used the next time you end up trading skins. It has three ways you can inspect, but most importantly, has a very in-depth inspect feature that you can see corners on a Karamit, for an example, that you can't really see otherwise unless you have the item in-game. If you end up topping up your balance, make sure to use promo code MANDO to get up to a 35% deposit bonus and a free $5 on the first trade. So firstly, I want to start off by stating the obvious. This should not have happened in the first place, and this should never happen again. Now, over the course of the past 10 years, being eight really that skins have been a big picture inside the game, you're bound to have some people commit fraud when submitting skins that either aren't supposed to be there, it's not their artwork, you get the picture, but the fact that we're 10 years into the game and they're raking in millions every single day, let alone 10 times that even in the entire year, they're making so much money, which my solution to all this is they hire a team to pretty much stop this. With the money they make from cases, dedicate 1%, 2%, 5%, I don't care, to a dedicated team, pay the devs extra for an example, or whoever's in the skins department, to look over these things, double check them, hire another company to fact check this and search the internet for these designs if they're stolen or not. Maybe you should have kind of a red flag system, where if someone brand new submits something, they have to submit some other things as well, or if there's someone that's been in the scene for a very long time, they've made multiple skins for different cases that either have gotten in or not, that's a green flag. With no content update for over 200 days, we find finally got one and it's a complete disaster. And while the least Valve can do is not have any controversy behind this update. I'll firstly touch on the op doodle war with the op duality. When these were added a week ago, it only took people five or six hours to figure out that one, the doodle lore was stolen. You also had the Tamuka, but we'll touch on that later in the video because it's a little bit different. The doodle lore a couple days ago was of course removed, but with that, it created a lot of problems. And well, this is where it hits home for me. Making this skin contraband was never an idea in the first place in my personal opinion. And well, this now should say and put a nail in the coffin for you that it's never going to happen again. I tweeted out and replied to a bunch of people saying, I'm kind of happy that they didn't make a contraband because that would only enable people to falsify uploads to the workshop to try and get a skin in a case because one, they could buy a bunch of different skins on a different account if they know it's going to go contraband, hype this thing up, they make bank, everyone loses, and you kind of get the point. With this getting switched over, there's two problems with it. Number one, which actually came from my YouTube comment section and also Reddit, is that the float cap is actually very different between the op doodle lore and the op duality, meaning the op doodle lore was capped at 0 0.8 and the duality is capped at 0 0.7. That means there are 159 0.7 rare dualities. Now this comment replying to this guy pretty much said, if Valve recognizes this or doesn't want this in the game, they can change it and pretty much make it the lowest float or highest float for the op duality, just the newest version, if that makes any sense. But here's my biggest problem and why I don't think this should happen anymore is sticker crafting. Now there aren't a whole lot of sticker crafts that were made within the first week because people want to wait for those skins to go down. But if you like a skin so much like I did with the new Glock skin, for an example, you're going to buy it and you're going to craft on it no matter the price, even if it's going to go to $2 in five days. For an example, on the doodle lore, if someone applied a four times Cloud9 Hollow from Antwerp 2022 and Molt switched over the duality, it's not going to look good whatsoever. And that's my problem. I wouldn't really care if the sticker was two or three dollars, but it's 20 bucks. And while there's people who were considering applying $1,500 stickers in the first week, yes, they do transfer over to the op duality, but that's a big problem in my personal opinion. That's one, pissing people off. Number two, false marketing. And Molt number three goes into the M4A for Tamuka. Right now, it's not 100% certain if this thing's going to get removed, changed, or possibly go contraband, but like we said at the beginning of the video, I don't think it's going to happen. Right now, people are wanting to craft on it. People are asking me if they should craft on it, and while they kind of feel scared at this moment to do so because they don't want it to change or get removed or some other thing happening, and then their stickers don't match, and well, they just wasted $100 for an example. And that goes back to the whole point of this video. Valve needs to change something or add a new team to the game whenever an update does come out, which they rarely do, but pay them to fact check these skins to make sure they're not stolen. 
one, so this doesn't happen. And to add on to all this, the same guy who made the op doodle lore also made the MAC-10 skin in the recoil case. But now that is very up for discussion if that should be removed or looked into a little more. And well, if that gets removed, that'll be something is going to be pretty crazy. People have crafted on it. It's been out for almost a year. I feel like that would make people really scared to craft on items, especially the newer ones in the game, but also even older ones considering it's been out for a year. But I don't think that's going to happen. As it goes for crafting as a whole this moment in time with any of these new skins or this MAC-10, I would probably wait, but see what Valve says to come out with a statement or not. As it goes for the M40 for Tamuka, I don't think anything's going to happen to it. It looks pretty original to me, but only time will tell. There could be some DMCAs and some lawsuits outside the game that we're unsure of. Overall, all this does for Valve is just create false advertising and also a lot more BS for the community, but also Valve themselves. Put money into a team that would check over skins. It would save them a few different things. One, money and also time. Money being they'd have to hire some lawyers, hire some more people or pay people to get their skins in the game, and also time by finding new skins that would match that case or set collection specifically very well. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.